what's going on? So I am here today with something that I've never been done done before on the channel. Uh, we're gonna bring uh, some Electro Dragon gameplay at ya. I decided to try them out in a few different decks here against uh, a couple of the harder trainers up in here, and so we'll kind of see how that goes. Hoping it goes real well, and so I'm gonna just hop right into a battle and we'll just cut right to it. Um, so, Electro Dragon, obviously, five elixir, okay, and pretty sweet, but it's an epic, and unfortunately, <laughs> my. <laughs> Like for example, the um, I'm just gonna use him right away. Let's just use him right off the bat and see what he does. Okay. Um, oh wow. Uh, okay. So these trainers are a little bit tough. So we'll see what he does. And he retargets the musketeer. So that's awesome. Has the same stun type effect that the E Wiz has. So I think this push actually might work out pretty decent against Trainer Gravy here. Um, so I'm gonna try against Trainer Gravy. I think he's like one step under Trainer um, Ch Cheddar, I think it is. So then we'll try to stick with Trainer Cheddar next and see how well he does. Because I don't think Tra Trainer Gravy is up, uh, really up to par at all, like, especially against E Dragon. Uh, let's get around. Let's get around to another one. Let's see how well he does. <laughs> let's take this bowler out real quick. I'm just gonna throw a Miner right on this Dark Goblin because I can, and then let's throw the E Drag. What do they call it? An E-drag? Let's throw the E-drag down just to see how well we can do up on this tower. See how much damage it does. Okay, so going at it solo, it looks like oh, about 200. Oh, maybe a little bit more 200 damage. I think he's level he's level 12, so not quite, uh, <laughs> not a ton of damage, but I do like the stun effect that he has. It's kind of cool, <laughs> and I think um, basically, I just replaced uh, my E Wiz in this deck with the uh, E Drag, and I think it's making a pretty good replacement. I think it's awesome because it kind of it hits three targets instead of just the two that the E Wiz does. But it does cost five elixir, so there is that as well. So I don't know what's the better trade-off here. Um, let's go ahead, let's finish this battle up real quick. Let's throw the E-Drag down there one more time and see how he does against a Knight and a Dark Goblin. Oh, so his range isn't huge. Check that out. So his range, I'll just hit him. What the heck? Dude, I just wanted you to hit him so badly. Just one more time, just hit him. Gosh dang it. Uh, <laughs> So his range isn't super good. I saw he was only like four tiles away. I'm kind of curious what his range is. Maybe I'll go check out the stats in just a second and we'll check out the range and kind of see where we're at on that. So let's just go ahead. Ooh, we can get another one down. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, I'm just so, so excited. I want to unlock. Okay, so yeah, he's like smoking those guys. He does quite a bit of damage to the troops, it looks like. Well. I guess normal. And then the, I guess the second troop and the third troop don't get as much damage. So, did pretty decent there. Let's get up to a higher level trainer and see how well we can do for reals. Okay, so I have the same deck now. Trainer Ch Cheddar, um, he's actually somebody that, dude, he knows what he's doing. Okay, so this guy's in it to win it. I think, and I've never really played the trainers before, but they have like some sort of unfair elixir advantage that just absolutely rocks your world. So I'm gonna hit him real hard with all everything that I got because I don't really stand a chance if I don't. And it looks like he's got all his cards maxed out and I do not. So that's kind of unfair. Oh wow, look at this guy dude, look at that. Look at that chain reaction. So he's only hitting, what? It looks like he's only hitting one target. What, what? Alright, I gotta get a new deck here. Give me just a second. Okay, I switched up my deck a little bit. Hopefully this will work a little bit better. <laughs> this guy is nuts though. <laughs> I shouldn't even be going against this guy because he's so flipping nuts. It's absolutely insane. Let's drop e Drag. I know he goes this side. So, what? You switched sides on me, little bounder? <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought he would actually stick to that side for real day. Um, so, my Lumberjack's gonna die a slow and horrible death. And I obviously should have waited for him to attack first because, wow, he took my tower down already. So Edrag up on, on it by himself over there. 
I just feel like my elixir advantage is very unfair. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go watch another battle. This is gonna be nuts. There's no way I can show you <laughs> the actual E-Drag capabilities with this, these trainers. This trainer is too much. Trainer gravy sucks. They need new trainers. Let's get into uh, another match. All okay, so I switched up my deck. Going against Trainer Cheddar again, obviously. I want to see if I can just hold out for like a minute. I think that should be part of the new challenges if they ever come out with like an update in this game. Um, see who can hold out the longest <laughs> against like these absolutely insane onslaughts like this one. Like this is insane. There's no, no way. What did he just drop? He just dropped like Sparky. He dropped a um, Lava Hound. He dropped an Inferno Dragon. He dropped a... I gotta hold that off. Oh my gosh, come on, baby. Oh, there's no way. There's absolutely no way you can rock this thing. I can't even get the E-Drag down to show you guys its mass capabilities. I might have to go back to Trainer Gravy just so we can show you what the heck did Trainer Cheddar. Okay, here we are. Dude, we're playing Trainer Shelly. Dude, she's supposed to be way better. Unless that's a dude. I don't know. All right. Let's see how many E-Drags we can get on the map here. Let's go, um, there we go. Add a boy, add a girl, whatever. Let's drop an E-Drag up over here. See what kind of damage he does to the, okay, so he's hitting the, oh, wow. Dude, that absolutely just cleaned up that night, which like nobody's business pretty much. That was absolutely awesome in every way, shape, and form. And I think he's got a little bit of rage on her too, so that's actually awesome. So let's cycle through. Let's go a Tesla right here. And he doesn't look like, it just doesn't look like his range is quite as big as like an E-Wiz, which is kind of worrisome in my opinion. But I guess we'll have to kind of play with it more just to kind of get a feel for it, see how well it actually does in game to see what we got going on here. So let's go ahead, let's just vlog that and we're gonna zap that because I kind of want to get another one on the map see what's going on here. Let's throw him right. Let's try to build up some sort of push um, with him. Maybe we'll put the lumberjack in front of him and just see how well he does with a lumberjack in front of him. So there we go. So he's got Night Witch, basically just smoked him, took out, whoa! Does it hit more targets than just three then? Maybe I was way off base when I thought it only, when I thought it hit three targets. Man, we need something to get a lot of targets out there to actually see what it hits. And it looks like it's gonna smoke this baby dragon here too. Let's try and get a lumberjack. Okay, so it does hit both targets. Um, I wonder if it hit more than. I thought it only hit three targets for some reason. I might have to go check its stats out again. So we'll see what it does here in just a second. Oh my gosh, Hog Rider, obviously. Too hot, too cool for school, too cool for school. Let's just Lightning Sparky because that's the smartest move in the world. Oh crap, I should've just dropped E. Okay, so let's see what he does over here. Um, yes, yes, smoke that, yes. So let's count this. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so it's, it definitely has three targets down. That's cool, that's cool, it is cool. And it looks a little bit like it's more potent than the E-Wiz too, from what I can tell. Uh, I could be wrong here. Um, but it looks to be a little bit more potent. So let's go log right here, let's zap that obviously, because that's just a smart move. Um, and then let's go, let's get an E-Wiz down, oh, E-Drag down, take out that baby dragon fast. Oh, Musketeer of course is gonna smoke it. Oh man, I think it's such a good looking card though. Just like it looks so flipping good. Let's go check out his stats here. So it looks like the E-Wiz Add Tournament Standard. It looks like the E-Wiz does 159 damage. So it is three targets that it hits. And it looks to me like uh, 831 hit points. So not too beefy at max level. I think the hit points are somewhere like 1206. And at max level can do 231 damage times three, which is pretty awesome. Um, so medium speed, air and ground, the range is what's different. It's, so it's 3.5 tiles versus, let's see what an E-Wiz's range is real quick. Let's go over there. So an E-Wiz info, 
Yeah, and E-Wiz has a range of five, so one and a half tiles shorter than an E-Wiz. So that's where we're at on that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's pretty fun for me to make because, you know, gameplay before. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, hope you guys do well in the challenge. And you guys unlock the E-Wiz before 16 days, 15 days is up. You know what I'm saying? Take it easy.